Broncos. Looking to move it away with Avery Williams. Out past the 30 and a fine start for Boise State. A T T I S O N. There's no D in that last name. Here's third down and 10. Here's Rippin. He'll get out of there and scramble. And it looks like he's going to come up just short. The flag comes from the 39 of Boise, or rather, of Fresno State. Ripping the throw. And he airmails, looking for Sean Monster for Fresno State. From their own eight, off the play fake. McMarion the throw, and finds Micaiah Quick. All night to throw the football because it's raining and slick. Second down and five. They go Wildcat. Boise shifting. Rushing for McMarion underneath, able to complete to Darian Grimm. A few couple hundred times the rest of the night. Nobody will be questioning that Kirby Smart to fake punt for that. Oh, it slips out of Rippin's hands. And let's see if it falls harmlessly away. Michael Walker jumped on it just in case. It's like a, a receiver or a running back fumbling the football when they're hit. See the movement of the ball. Good job by Walker, too, right? Would have been easy for a defender to give up on that and just think that's an incomplete pass. The reason I think you can tell that, at least from my opinion, that it's a fumble is how the ball comes out of his hand there. If he had control coming forward, then that ball... Broncos are bringing some people. It's picked up nicely. McMarion to the corner of the end zone and it's caught and it's quick for the score. Marcus McMarion to Micaiah Quick for the touchdown. Kind of conditions, make it an easy throw. There's man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, and this is a corner route, which allows McMarion just to loft this ball, Steve, into the corner. See how you don't have to... Seems rather unfair. <laughs> the previous two won by the home team. Killian Butler is going to run it out. And he is upended, and the football comes out think that uh, the two teams who would be better prepared to handle this rain and this cold it would be Boise State but they're the ones that have put the ball yeah. on the ground Steve Not those kids from California which is I think for Fresno to win they have to contain Alexander Madison uh, and as we've seen the elements are definitely going to factor in to the outcome see target that many that's a lot of touches Robert Mahone has checked it and Madison a bit of a break there Sean Monster, their leading receiver. Three tight ends in. On third down and one. And it's ripping. He's got the first down. Bates and Blakely in there as well at tight end. It is Madison. Wow, he is met head on at the 40 by Jeff Allison. Ripping sidesteps some pressure and run up the middle and now slide down, but he definitely has first down yardage. Drive started from their own 25. Here's play number 14. Give it to the first man through. That is Madison. And I'll bring up a third down. Got all sorts of time now. Ripping a throw and it nearly intercepted and nearly caught. He did. And Sean Monster went through the hands of Jared Bryant. Three, four yards away. If that's not called a catch, I'll be really surprised. It was shocking. The ball slipped through the defender's hands, and he just happened to be right in that spot. Wow. Yeah, Todd, it looked like the right toe of Monster. You can see the mark on the actual uh, orange turf, too. You know what's crazy, Todd? His right foot was it looked like it may have been out of bounds, and then he picked it back up and brought it back in bounds. The question is, did he go out of bounds, then come back in? That would make him ineligible to catch that ball. I think they need to take a look at that. From their own 21. Handed it off to a receiver. Micaiah Quick. Nothing doing. The thing Weaver doesn't like about Boise is there's no Filipino restaurant in town. Said his mom, when she comes, got to do all the seven in the Mountain West championship game. There's McMarion. We'll take the easy one underneath to Jared Rice, the tight end. Out of the 25, Avery Williams. He turned out a lot of really good players. Uh, especially the running back position. Speaking of which, Alexander Madison. He can do that for you. Taking on Juju Hughes. Last couple of, of games, like the last month of the season, he's tried to hurdle guys, and right. clearly Juju is Broncos. 
Third down and ten. Here's Rippon. Bulldogs rushing four. The Broncos trying for the big play. And let's see. He's a valuable player on offense so far in this game just because he's handled the elements. He's catching the football. Second down and ten. Some late pressure. Rippon will throw out an unbelievable play. A.J. Richardson is stopped by James Bailey. Back here, they had Cedric Wilson. They're wondering where the next great wide receiver is going to be. And it's, it's really a more complete quarterback. He's had to spread the ball around, and it's been good for his development. Third down to 12, they come out empty. And Rippon overthrows Madison in a 7-all game for the Mountain West Championship. McMarion to throw and able to complete. Micaiah quick, and the football comes out. And it's recovered by Avery Williams. The opportunity to come rip that out. They teach that? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that kid's one of the best at it, too. Uh, he practices that every single day in practice. You see him go after the ball. I mean, he's a ball hawk. He'll get, he'll get it in there, and, and he'll get you, he'll make you cough it up. So, and that was that. So, just kind of took it from there. I feel ridiculous asking you about what the adjustment has been like. C.T. Thomas down the sideline. Kings and Eagles are going to play on Monday Night Football. Who are you liking that game? <laughs> oh wow! I mean, they both they both got their their weapons. Uh, uh, I mean, I think I'm that's just kidding, man. NFC from the 27. Good protection. Now breaks down. Rippin hangs in there and throws and completes. A.J. Richardson was walloped. Fresno State only rushing three, and they still get pressure on Rip and gets out of there. Throws as he's hit, and it is dropped. Butler could not haul it in. State champ in high school as a wrestler. His first offer was as a wrestler. Here's Jared Rice making some people miss. He's out to the 38 yards. Is that possible? That's what the numbers say. They have not looked in Johnson's direction. Maybe now. Looking for the flag. And there is a flag down. Avery Williams had the coverage. That's Grimm in motion. McMarion will throw that way. Able to complete to Grimm. Needs a little shake and bake. Makes a move and has first down yardage. Darion Grimm. <laughs> second and six under five to play here in the half. On the ground of Ronnie Rivers for first down yardage. Conference game has been tough to fill up. You would think at home that they would be able to fill it up. Here's McMarion. Again, delaying. Finally able to get rid of it to Jared Rice. Third and 14. McMarion. Cox and fires and through the hands of Keyshawn Johnson. Will attempt a 44-yard field goal. Just 11 of 19 on the season. In the snow. Fuller. Able to boot it through from 44 yards away in a snow globe to give for, for the first time on the blue turf i think you could qualify as a huge win here's madison able to get some traction takes on mike bell and has first down yardage boise state has two timeouts remaining going ahead with ripon for the first down ripon Gonna be swallowed up and taken down. It's Michael Walker. Lost seven. Just third and 19 now. Ripping. Put some mustard into that one and air mails that. Velasquez will kick it away. Second half, we are underway. It's a ground ball. Jameer Jordan will scoop it up. Looks fast, those white uniforms gliding on the snow. Van Der Esch was up here. He said he would have loved to play in this game. Never got a real snow game in his career. Marcus McMarion taking off, showing the wheels, and he's inside the Boise State 30. Oh, this is the, one of the biggest guys on the field. The right guard, Micah St. Andrews, pulling around, fleet foot, getting on the second level, and that's what gets McMarion into the secondary. They need to continue to pound it on the ground to win this one. Second down and five. They fake it to Rivers. They go to Keyshawn Johnson for a big loss. Tyler Horton was not fooled at all. For Keyshawn Johnson, Micaiah Quick just doesn't get the block on Horton. Great effort on the outside. You know, these quarters had some good quarterbacks come out of Fresno. 
couple, including a couple of cars. There's Marcus McMarion with time to throw. It's wobbling up in the air and knocked down. It's Tyler Horton on the coverage. He had a better chance to catch that football than Jameer Jordan did. McMarion will give it to Rivers. He is stopped at the line of scrimmage and will stop for a loss. Jabril Frazier comes up to make the tackle. Mary will take another shot, looking for Keyshawn, and again, could not get there. Let's see how he does here. In the snow. And just hooks it home. Asa Fuller. Franchise, every program has a certain standard and the high ceiling. And that is Kellen Moore here. As Madison, for running backs, does it. Takes it out, approaching midfield. For Fresno State, that matchup this time. Bell comes up right here. He's got to break down and get Madison on the ground. Yeah, he's big and physical, but he's also got... He's got to deal with you people every <laughs> single week of the whole season. Well, Joker coming back home. This is an important homecoming for Joker. So welcome home. But I'm looking for the retired numbers up on the side of the stadium. And I don't see anything that says Joker. We'll try it again, make it seven consecutive carries for Madison. And as you would expect, the Fresno defense is ready for him, too, led by James Bailey. Good news for Fresno State, Michael Walker is back in the game. Here's Rippin. The rare passing attempt, and he'll run for it instead. 33 yards away for Hayden Hogarth. Snap is good, and the place was good, and it is no good. From their own 29. Good protection for McMarion. Now he runs and sort of goes into a slide late by Ava. The defensive quarter, coordinator, Andy Avalos, who brought a little pressure, but then dropped into his zone. Nowhere to go with. Got some NFL in his future. Rippin gonna try to run for it, he won't get there. Kevin Atkins, welcome to the football game. Injured against BYU and DeAndre Pierce from the defensive backs. He was their top guy. Now he's running practice with a whistle. And on third down and two. These receivers are going to have to make plays and secure the football in the second half to win. Second down and two. It is Madison. He's got first down yardage. Two bucks as they give it to Madison. You want some of that action? No. <laughs> and for a loss. Downs. Bringing him down awkward. Let's see what, what happened. He wasn't expecting him to be right there, and, and that was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. Looked like it may have dazed Madison. He just wasn't ready for that. And Greece, Madison has already carried the ball 27 times, and we're not even at the fourth quarter yet. There was definitely a mix-up on the right side of that offensive line to allow Jacopo to come back free. Your screen. Marion looks that way, and now look to the left. Now back. Trying to loft one in Johnson's direction, nothing doing. And it's fourth down. There's no state on either side. I have one cut and they're moving. Here's Rippin. Under pressure, gonna be taken down. He is dropped by Ricky McCoy and Michael Walker. There's no state because Rippin had the time. Look at that spin move by McCoy. Great job staying with it. And again, Fresno State defensively. That's been the story of this game. They have been up to the challenge, up to the task. Certainly the elements have helped. 13.5 points per game. And they're under that tonight. Here's Rippin, steps up and fires down the field. Middle of the field had one blue jersey. John Hightower, first down and 10. And Marcus McMarion. And the Bulldogs with a six-point lead. And McMarion looking for more. And finds a wide open Keyshawn Johnson. Been waiting for it all night long. Finally get it to him with big time yardage. Good for 32. And really nice job off of play action. Uh, very kind of weaved his way out to the corner and wide open. On the ground a Hokin. Nothing doing there. 13 of 20. Look for his 14th completion. Down the field. Battle for the ball. That battle is won by Avery Williams. They trailed by seven after in the fourth quarter. So actually in better shape. Bruce. They're only down by six. Here's Rippin to throw. Finds 
a wide open scene. It's John Bates out of nowhere. Has been waiting for that all night. Look at him look to his right there, looking off to safety. Looks off Helmuth, the linebacker. Ripping quick throw and able to complete to C.T. Thomas. On the ground to Alexander Madison. They've softened up that Fresno defense a little bit. Juju Hughes from the 34 of Fresno State. It is Madison hopping through some people. Is this the big play finally? Alexander Madison, touchdown. Finally pays off. This is what he does in the fourth quarter of games, second half of games. He just wears you out. You got to tackle him. You got to get him down 25, 30, now 35 times in a game. And that takes its toll on a defense in that offensive line. Give credit up front. Ezra Cleveland, the left tackle. Has not missed an extra point all season. Snap of the plays, and it's blocked! The extra point is blocked! Matt Botang! We'll see how much it comes back to bite Boise State in a tie ball game. McMarion throwing. And he was behind Rivers coming out of the backfield. It'll be fourth down. You say it's a big play, but every play the rest of the way will be a big play. 5.45 to go. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. Mike Bell came up and just ruined the night. McMarion will throw. Cool and calm. He'll complete to his tight end, Jared Rice. And Rice somehow able to get out of tackles of three different Broncos to pick up the first down. Second down and five. The give is to Quick, the wide receiver, and he coughed up the football. Gave it up. Conejo able to pick it up. We talked about the second half. Turnovers being a big part of this. In these elements, Micaiah Quick, a wide receiver who's not used to running the football in between in all that traffic, does not secure it, and Boise State defensively makes the play of the game so far. From the 43 of Fresno State. Rip of the throw. Nearly intercepted. He run a double move over there on Williams. Second down and six. On the ground, it's Ronnie Rivers running through some people. Still on his feet is Rivers, and they'll push the pile. Six. Where Ronnie Rivers and Jared Rice on back-to-back -back drive showing you. Marion has time to survey the situation and hits Jameer Jordan. He's out to midfield. If you look here with Noah in the middle. Marion to throw and complete to Keyshawn Johnson. We'll see where they mark him out of bounds. Now it's two. And on one, McMarion gets the ball. In some trouble. Tug on his jersey. McMarion can't get out of there. He's dropped for a loss by Jordan Happel. Defense just refusing to give up anything. They bring pressure. I'm not sure how McMarion gets out of the first one, but Apple. Timeout left for the Broncos. Minute 23, and they're deep in their own territory, starting from the 15. Looking for a Madison to break one. Helmuth won't have that. And that leaves them with the one left. There's Madison. Exactly what they were looking for there. And he's wrestled down by Jeff Allison. Ripping the throw. And coming back for the ball, let's see. The Fresno State sideline sets it's incomplete. It's a job with the trainer, right? right? And clearly Madison, he doesn't want to come out of this football game. Obviously, he's, he's paid the price all season long. Looking for carry number 37 on the night. And there it is. Ooh, Alexander Madison, another shot from Jeff Allison. Second level has the first down. Three yards shy of 200 rushing. Madison. Mike Bell made the stop there. Madison. Another yard or two. 
Bring up a third down and goal. Alexander Madison. What does he have left in the tank? They are going to throw. Rip it to the end zone. It is incomplete. And a flag down. Botang. The reason we're in overtime in the first place. Botang nearly got there again. And the field goal from 23 is good. And so Boise State. There's a flag down though. McMarion across the middle. Able to hit his tight end, Jared Rice. Who rumbles for extra yardage after the catch. McMarion on the ground to Roddy Rivers. Rivers going to be close. He's down to the, they're going to mark him down at about the two-yard line, ending the Boise State nightmare on the blue for the Bulldogs. Rivers pushing, can't get there, second and third effort. He's right back to the line of scrimmage. It's third and goal. Shift Rivers. McMarion, options to Rivers, trying to turn the corner, he'll get there! Paynard into the orange to win on the blue! Ronnie Rivers and Fresno State in overtime. At the very end, you had to get some kind of doubt in the mind of Boise State and those defenders. It turned out to be the option with McMarion, and that forced the Boise State defenders to free up Rivers on the outside, and he had the speed to the edge to finish, and finally.